Hey guys, Detri here, and I'm super excited to be part of Pitchfork Academy and show you the power of C++ in Unreal Engine 5. It's not nearly as hard or as scary as it seems, and there are even things you can do with C++ that you can't do with Blueprints. Today I'm just going to show you how to get Visual Studio installed and set up a C++ project and add a C++ class to your game. So without further ado, let's get going. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads and grab the community edition of Visual Studio 2022. This will actually download the Visual Studio installer. Go ahead and hit continue once it opens up. When the installer opens up, it'll ask you which components you want to install. Go ahead and select Game Development with C++ and Desktop Development with C++. And with these two components selected, go ahead and select Install. And then you can uncheck Start after installation because we're going to let Unreal Engine start it for us when we make our project. Once Visual Studio is finished installing, go ahead and open up your Unreal Editor. Go to Games and create a new third-person project. And let's make it a C++ project. Now that we have Visual Studio installed, we'll be able to compile our project. And just give it a name. I'm going to call mine CPP Tutorial. And once we hit create, Unreal Engine will generate a project, but it will also generate C++ project files that will, will be used to compile the final project. Also, Visual Studio will open as well as the editor, so keep that in mind. When Visual Studio opens, it may ask you to review project and solution changes. If there's nothing here, if it's just white space, you can just click OK. And there shouldn't there shouldn't be anything there. It should be it should be OK. Also, you may see this yellow text box over here that tells you based on your solution, you might need to install extra components. Go ahead and install those. Um, if you have the Visual Studio installer open still, you'll need to close it. Go ahead and install those. It should just be some .NET things. Yep, it's some specific components that Unreal needs to generate project files. So go ahead and download those, and Visual Studio should restart itself when that's finished. And once Visual Studio has updated those components, go ahead and open your content drawer and create a new C++ class. And let's just inherit from an actor. We just want to be able to place it in the world just to, so we can physically see that we've created something with C++. Go ahead and make it public so it can be exposed to the rest of your code should you need it. This is just a test, so we can actually just leave it. The name is my actor. And once you create the class, this live coding window should open. And it will build this new class into your editor. And if you ever want to trigger this manually while you're coding to see what your changes look like, you can trigger this from within Visual Studio or Unreal with the Control-Alt-F11 key combination. So keep in mind, Control-Alt-F11, it will become your best friend when you're coding C++ and Unreal Engine 5. And now that our live coding has succeeded, to test it out, Let's make a quick blueprint. So right click anywhere in a content folder. 
select blueprint, blueprint class. And then we'll use this all classes drop down here because we want to inherit from a custom class our my actor component or our my actor class that we just created. And I'll call it BP my actor. And all actors have a transform, which means they can be placed into the world. So let's go ahead and create an instance of our BP my actor blueprint, which inherits from our my actor C++ class and drag it out into the world. As you can see, while we haven't written any C++ code yet, we can already reap the benefits of custom classes. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you're looking forward to getting started with C++ and Unreal Engine. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Or just shout out and say hi. See you next time, everybody. Detri out.